दोस्त वेलकम बैक टू एस्ट्रोलॉजी विद निनाद अ वेरी क्रूशल नक्षत्र ट्रांजिट इज गोइंग टू टेक प्लेस सून वी हैव जुपिटर द मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस प्लैनेट गोइंग टू लीव द नक्षत्र ऑफ रोहिणी व्हिच इज रूल्ड बाय इट्स गुड फ्रेंड मून व्हिच इज अ वाटर प्लैनेट बट नाउ ऑन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी जुपिटर विल ट्रांजिट इन द नक्षत्र ऑफ मृगाशीरा which is ruled by its another great friend mars the fiery planet so this is a very important nakshatra transit which will take place between august 28th to november 27th of this year so that is a transit of almost a little more than 3 months so i am going to break down the impact of this nakshatra transit on all the 12 signs of the zodiac starting from aries all the way up to pisces you can watch the prediction based on your ascendant or moon sign i have posted the time stamps in the description box below for your convenience so you can click on the time that corresponds to your moon or rising sign and watch accordingly so let's get started for my aries mesh rashi friends jupiter is transiting in your second house in the sign of taurus but this nakshatra activation will primarily activate your ascendant your lagna along with the 8th house to an extent because these are the bhavas ruled by mars so what is the theme here it is all about finances money wealth accumulation and increased savings your whole focus will be on how you can grow your bank balance on how you can strategically use good financial money management techniques to grow your wealth in the long run which can provide you a good yield of return right so since the first house is activated naturally jupiter which is a planet of expansion happiness opportunities it is a planet of god's blessings so your personality will start to shine it will start to sparkle right people will start to notice you they will start to give you the credit and rewards that you deserve you need to utilize your leadership potential you need to showcase your hidden talents and skills and bring those to the forefront because that can create an avenue for you to generate a money stream in the coming months so utilize this amazing time period to really hone in on your financial strategies on how you can diversify your portfolio on the things that you can invest in how you can secure your financial security and stability for the long run there are also chance of sudden unexpected wealth that might come your way could be through inheritance insurance past investments through your spouse in laws because the 8th house of unearned wealth will be activated but for that to really happen your natal birth chart also needs to support the same but overall i am seeing a very positive time period aligning for your finances and for your money and growth of cash reserve in this time period so try to make the best use of it for my taurus vrishab rashi friends jupiter is right now transiting in your ascendant itself in the sign of taurus but this nakshatra activation will activate primarily the 12th house and to an extent the 7th house as well so what does that indicate well for one you now need to focus on long term strategic financial investments instead of focusing on quick short term gains if you plan out a road map you lay out a plan a proper financial plan for your long term future that way you will be able to create a solid yield of return over the long run because 
the 12th house is connected to long term financial gains as compared to short term returns so maybe you could meet with a financial advisor you could think of creating some long term strategic fruitful financial goals and objectives for yourself which can help you to become more financially stable for the coming time then there could be some foreign travels in your in your life where you can embark to foreign countries whether for leisure whether for business related purposes or if you are single the possibility of meeting someone is also there and even getting married but that person could reside in a foreign land so you might have to travel to meet that person because your 7th and 12th houses are activated and jupiter's direct aspect is on the 7th house so good news for single people wanting to get married the timeline is looking more supportive now so you need to make the best use of it put yourself out there be proactive and you can use any type of online matrimonial websites any type of uh, you know communication through which you can connect with someone living in a far distance country because the probability of connecting with a good potential match is higher so overall the nakshatra activation is looking good even for those people who are thinking of relocating to a foreign land for their business for establishing a new venture maybe with their family or even work related so i wish you all the best and take care for my gemini mithun rashi friends jupiter is transiting in your 12th house but the nakshatra activation will be mainly of the 11th and the 6th house so what does that all imply the main theme here will be your career gains from career because the labhasthan will be activated the 11th house of gains desires wish fulfillment right so try to make the best use of this time period to properly you know plan out the road map for your career goals and aspirations because the time period is quite supportive for you to achieve your desires related to your career there are good chances of getting a sudden bonus promotion salary increment especially for those people living in a foreign country because jupiter is right now transiting in the 12th house which is the main house of foreign lands due to the 6th house also being activated here you can get a better work life balance now moving forward where you actually enjoy the work that you do you feel sat- satisfied on a mental level you will start to feel more happier more peaceful more relaxed in your daily job so if you give it your best shot you put in all your hard work then you can expect lot of good progress and growth at the workplace if you don't have a job i highly recommend if you were planning to apply to jobs in a foreign country then it is the right time to do so there is a good chance you could get a new job opportunity in a foreign land that you always desired so it is a great time for a job change even let's say if you wanted to change a job to a different department within your own organization it can be a great time to do that so career focus should be maintained as that will get you ahead in this timeline all the best for my cancer karka rashi friends jupiter is right now transiting in your 11th house in the sign of taurus but the nakshatra activation will be of the 10th and the 5th houses so what does that signify well for one it is the right time for you to reassess your career goal and strategy 
बिकॉज जुपिटर्स नक्षत्र एक्टिवेशन इज क्वाइट गुड फॉर योर करियर ग्रोथ एंड प्रोग्रेस इफ यू रियली होन इन ऑन योर स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर योर करियर एस्पिरेशन राइट सो इट इज द टाइम टू पुट इन योर टू हंड्रेड परसेंट हार्ड वर्क एंड एफर्ट बिकॉज योर एफर्ट विल नॉट गो इन वेन इट विल नाउ स्टार्ट टू बी अप्रिशिएटेड बाय योर बॉसेस इट विल बी नोटिस्ड बाय द हायर अप्स एंड यू कैन गेट द क्रेडिट रिकग्निशन एंड रिवॉर्ड्स फॉर द सेम सो If you wanted to make a job change then the time is looking quite good now more supportive finally it all depends on your birth chart the mahadasha antardasha but looking purely at this nakshatra activation the time for the career area is looking quite auspicious if you talk about single people the time is now looking to be more supportive for single people to find someone and get into a relationship because the fifth house will be strongly activated by not only jupiter's aspect but also by the nakshatra activation so a great time for single people to connect with a like minded person and get into a relationship for those couples already in a relationship the passion love romance pleasure will be on the rise so overall you can experience a lot of great time with your partner just try not to get into any major disputes due to saturn's malefic aspect still on your fifth house so that cannot be ruled out but overall the time is looking quite good for your career growth and you know rise at the workplace you can start to make more connections you can start to attend seminars conferences where you can meet important people and maybe those people can be the link for you to you know get the next step in your career goal so use this timeline to your advantage because it is looking really good for my leo simha rashi friend jupiter is right now transiting in your 10th house but the nakshatra activation will be of the 9th and the 4th house so what does that signify well for one due to jupiter transiting in your career house itself and the 9th being so strongly activated it can be a great time for a career change for those people especially looking to relocate abroad for those people who had always desired to work in a foreign country there can be some good opportunities for you here to capitalize on and make that happen for yourself it can also be a great time to get into a type of job that requires some traveling especially long distance traveling it can result in some good things for you because the fourth house is also activated which is linked to vehicles so if you can regularly travel to your job by your car and if the distance is quite long then it can be quite fruitful for you especially if you are running a very good mahadasha like jupiter antardasha like mars or maybe you are running mars mahadasha so but if you are running saturn mahadasha antardasha then you have to be a bit more cautious but otherwise long distance traveling journey vacation can be all quite beneficial for you right so in terms of your job it is going to be a good time to make a new change if that is something that you have been desiring for a while so try to you know utilize the opportunities that come your way give as many interviews as possible because there could be some really good offers some life changing offers that can come your way so make sure to take your time to properly analyze and then make a decision do not rush into taking a decision because finally rahu is transiting in your 8th house and if you are running the mahadasha antardasha pratyantardasha of rahu 
then it can cause sudden unexpected results so overall the timeline is looking good for the most part and i wish you the best for my virgo kanya rashi friends jupiter is right now transiting in your 9th house in the sign of taurus but the nakshatra activation will be mainly of the 8th house and to an extent the 3rd house so what does that imply well for one there could be a sudden unexpected transformation in your life maybe a life changing event it could be connected to your marriage to a relationship to your finances to your education to your career to your business something transforming sometimes transformations can be easy sometimes they can be challenging but in any case the transformation should be good for the most part in the long run because jupiter is currently transiting in the bhagyasthan in the 9th house so even though the 8th house will be activated it can be life changing in the long run for the better since the third will be activated no matter what you need to keep doing your parakram you need to keep facing any challenges with utmost bravery confidence dedication commitment and you need to be focused on your goals and aspirations with unwavering spirit so some long and short distance travel can also be on the cards just make sure you do not speed and drive your vehicle especially connected to short distance travel but overall your bravery courage patience can be tested during this time period and if you prove up to the mark you will come out as a winner so i wish you all the very best and thanks for watching for my libra tula rashi friends jupiter is right now transiting in your 8th house in the sign of taurus but the nakshatra activation will be mainly of the 7th and the 2nd house so what does that imply well for one your relationship with your spouse your marriage can undergo some sudden life changing transformation some unexpected events can unfold some can be challenging or some can be quite good if let's say your marriage was you know headed towards divorce suddenly things can change and you know everything can be resolved in a day's time and you are one second back and in harmony with your spouse living a peaceful and beautiful life and leading a good marriage or let's say someone who's leading a very happily married life they could have suddenly some challenging times some unexpected issues could crop up some secrets could be revealed so it can be a testing time for some people while it can be a glorious time for some couples and the same will apply if you are running a business and you are in a business partnership with someone so if you have not been transparent with your business partner till now it is advisable for you to be more honest to be more practical to be ethical in your business activities with your partner so that there are no sudden unexpected challenges in this area there could also be sudden unexpected wealth that might come your way through your business partnership through your spouse through your in-laws because the 8th and the 2nd houses are also activated but the sudden inflow of money can also be dependent on lot of other things like your natal birth chart the position and placement of certain planets in your chart mahadasha antardasha etc but overall use this time period to learn about the th- events that unfold and how you can 
come out a better human being and individual from these experiences all the best for my scorpio vrishik rashi friends jupiter is currently transiting in your 7th house in the sign of taurus but the nakshatra activation will be of the 6th and the ascendant so what does that signify well for one you will start to experience better work life balance at your everyday job you will start to work harder which will enable you to be more successful and achieve good growth at the workplace due to your charming personality your leadership skills you will be able to impress your colleagues your bosses and higher ups will start to take notice of you and give you the credit where it is deserved so give it your 200% effort put in your parakram and leave no stone unturned because this transit can especially be a big boost for your professional life for your career goals and aspirations if you had taken any loans in the past right so it is the time to strategically think on how you can start paying off those loans so that eventually you can become debt free if you have not taken any loans then it can be a good time to think of taking a new loan if you want to undertake a new project or venture of course depending that your natal birth chart supports the same if you have been suffering from any health issues then there can be a respite on the cards doing yoga meditation pranayama can certainly be beneficial as well overall you will have more stamina your vitality will glow your energy levels will increase you will feel more robust in this transit so maybe joining a nice fitness program or a dance class or you know just going outdoors spending time in nature can also do wonders for your health all the very best for my sagittarius dhanu rashi friends jupiter is transiting in your 6th house in the sign of taurus but the nakshatra activation will be of the 5th and the 12th bhava so what does that signify well for one try to use strategic thinking try to think outside the box be innovative when it comes to your daily work life routine that can really help your work to get notice by the higher ups and can help you to get a boost at your workplace the time is looking quite good professionally your everyday work life routine will also get exciting which will enable you to work with a passion like never seen before so naturally this will help you to achieve your career goals and aspirations and put you on the right track for long term success there could also be some sudden gains from past speculative investments on the cards but again for that the whole birth chart mahadasha antardasha everything needs to support that but overall gains from your investments is seen if you are planning to apply to jobs in a foreign land you know you always wanted to work in a foreign country then there could be some opportunities that might come your way and you can certainly think of taking up a new offer in a foreign land but if you are running the saturn mahadasha saturn antardasha then you have to be a bit careful because its strong enemy aspect is there on your vyasthan overall there might be some expenses on the cards some overall spending can increase but it can be for something that you enjoy maybe going out on a date with your partner going out for shopping long distance vacation traveling going for a movie and maybe just you know purchasing something that you had always wanted to for a long time but overall this transit is looking good in some ways so try to make the best use of it
ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर माई कैप्रिकॉन मकर राशि फ्रेंड्स जुपिटर इज राइट नाउ ट्रांसिटिंग इन योर फिफ्थ हाउस इन द साइन ऑफ टॉरस बट द नक्षत्र एक्टिवेशन विल बी मेनली ऑफ द फोर्थ हाउस एंड टू एन एक्सटेंड द इलेवेंथ हाउस सो ग्रेट न्यूज बिकॉज मार्स इज कंट्रोलिंग very important houses in your natal chart and when the 11th is activated that is basically wish fulfillment right fulfillment of long term desires and since the fourth is very strongly activated what does that imply well for one real estate investment decisions can play out here you might think of buying that one property that you had wanted to for a while or you might think of you know putting your house on rent and making money from that or you might think of selling your house for a profit or you might think of upgrading your home you might think of restructuring painting refurbishing or you know making upgrades to your current home so basically real estate theme is the main focus here of course your natal birth chart the mahadasha antardasha your fourth lord fourth house jupiter its nakshatra all these factors also be need to be considered to really be any more specific here but overall real estate will be the highlight during this time period and even some people might think of selling their car and buying a new one or you know maybe buying a new car without selling their old car because they have more than enough money it can be a great time for younger students in regards to competitive examinations they can do really quite well in their academics and overall the time can also be good in regards to your mother's health if she has been suffering from some health ailments you can do some research and you might find the right cure the right treatment for that specific ailment which can help your mother to recover faster so overall good nakshatra activation for my capricorn friends and i wish you the best for my aquarius kumbha rashi friends jupiter is right now transiting in your fourth house from where it is aspecting the 10th house of career but the nakshatra activation will be of the third house and the 10th house as well so what does that imply well with your parakram with your hard work with your dedication consistency commitment to your career goals and aspirations you can make that a reality you can achieve tremendous growth and progress in this coming time because here the 3rd and the 10th are very much connected and the 10th will also be strongly activated so your hard work and effort will not go in vain the more hard work the more parakram you do the more rewards the more recognition you will get in your job your higher ups the authority figure at your workplace will start to recognize your talent skills loyalty dedication and commitment and you will get acknowledged for the same so it can be a great time to even make a new job change or to apply for a job transfer within a different department or a different location given that you are running a very good mahadasha like jupiter mars or because if you are running saturn mahadasha although saturn is your lagnesh it is aspecting the 10th house with a strong enemy aspect so if you are running saturn major minor period then you have to be a bit more cautious with taking any major career related decisions but overall i am seeing good growth career progress for you on the work front as long as you are willing to walk the extra mile then all your dreams 
related to your career goals and aspirations can certainly become a reality all the very best for my pisces mean rashi friends jupiter is transiting in your third house but the nakshatra activation will be mainly of the second and the ninth house so what does that signify well for one finances will be the focus here it will be the theme your strategy for financial planning and investment should be reanalyzed and reassessed here because if you think more about long term strategic investments then it will be better for you you will be able to achieve good financial wealth accumulation increase savings and grow your bank balance over the long run try not to think too narrowly on the short term because that might not be as fruitful since the ninth will also be activated your bhagya your destiny your luck factor will also start to support you more so especially if you are in a foreign country working or you are running a business it can be quite a good time in connection to your finances possible chance of a bonus promotion salary increment at the workplace maybe more revenues increase profits lower expenses in your business could be experienced but for that you need to be very prudent in your decision making do not fall to any temptations do not rush into taking any important life decisions because rahu is transiting in your first house so you have to be careful you have to think twice thrice you have to take the advice of elders of subject matter experts before taking any major decision especially connected to your finances to your career and to your business area but overall i see good growth and good success in these areas in this coming time so i wish you all the best Thank you.